Hey there, welcome to Jersey Jim Fish. Fishmonger Jim here. So today I'm going to be, as you might have uh, gained from the title of this movie, I'm going to be removing the, the backbone and uh, butterflying the striped bass, which I caught yesterday. Island Beach State Park, the most beautiful place in South Jersey. I'll put a link to that movie up uh, up here, I think, maybe, up here. You can never get that straight. So I went ahead and tore the gills out, cut it down the belly, removed the bloodline. And I need to uh, to clip the fins next. I rinsed most of the slime off of it as uh, this is my kitchen. And I would prefer that not to be in my kitchen, all that slime chasing the fish around. Not necessary, but I don't want to mop after. Oh, to be clear, even if there, there was slime on the floor, I wasn't going to mop anyway, but yeah, let me get rid of the fins. Good pair of scissors. It's got that little, that little, uh, that little thang right there. Really, really, uh, chop away at some larger stuff with that. And plus, it's it's towards the throat, so you get more mechanical advantage. And then we go, we go, we go. But the knives that I'm going to be using on this. Hang on. The knives I'm going to be using. I got my uh, Dexter, I, I, all my other stuff's in storage, so I got to rely on my work knives, which it's pretty sharp. I sharpened it before I left two days ago. And the serrated knife. It's all about the serrated knife with the striped bass. If you don't know this, if you take your serrated knife and run it backwards on the steel several times, it realigns the blade, makes it wickedly sharp. And, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, there's a little sand on there. Hang on. Oh, yeah, perfect. Um, so I've never done one of these. I've never, I've never boned a, a striped bass. This can be a learning experience for me. It, probably not all that difficult it's just another fish right so if you go up towards the head we got we got to free up the collar and then we got to free up the tail I'll show you that in a second if you go up towards the head you got this this bone right here see this this little this little bone that comes down it's kind of like there's that bone and then a bone that comes underneath you want to get your knife in between that and then it goes real easy and then go up towards the uh, the shoulder <laughs> through the skin. I use the serrated knife for that because the skin on the striped bass is quite tough. There we go. All right, so that's what it should look like. And then uh, you want to I I cut I rinse the bloodline out of this. It's very important. You want to start up here. You want to get on the the north side of the spine and angle your angle your knife really really far down and cut start cutting through a few of those rib bones that's all we're cutting through are the rib bones at this point and then just draw the knife back and then when you get to the the anal fin or the anus, you're gonna to need to cut through the scales. So you want to get on the again the north side of that fin, and then run the knife back into the backbone. 
connect those cuts and then bring down the whole fillet. And we need to free up this chunk of meat at the at the, the collar or the shoulder. Like I said, I've never done this before. I did miss a little bit of meat there, but I don't think I'm gonna, gonna microwave that as I need dinner tonight. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from Mikey B. And I'm thinking that I might go fishing tonight under the bridges in New Jersey for striped bass. And if he doesn't get back to me, or if he can't make it for whatever reason, conditions should be pretty damn good. Yeah. What a special kind of event the night has been. That's awesome. I'm glad I could share it with you. I th I'm thankful for this camera. Like, Mikey, this is what you missed tonight, man. A non-adult plate, I might add. Yeah, I'm going to microwave that. Black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, so we got this one side opened up. I didn't cut through the skin on the other side, but I am to the skin. On the other side, totally to the skin. And then here's where it gets kind of tricky. This, uh, this other side, the other rib cage. But the second side is always more difficult. So what we will do is get underneath the, uh, the anal fin into the spine, the bump that is the spine. And then, oh, let's see, how am I going to be able to do this with the camera in the way? Maybe like that. I think that should work. Then we got, you see, we got this all opened up back here. Got to take the, the knife, the tip of the, the uh, fillet knife. And we're going to run up towards the head. It's gonna work. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. I like that. Thing is, I, I I harvested this fish. I don't want to lose a whole lot of meat. And ultimately, like, you know, like I'm not gonna stuff this fish. I just want to show you how to do it. And that be you know, like that being said, I don't want to waste meat just for be showing you how to do this so bear with me it's gonna, it's gonna take a little longer than usual okay so we got the rib bones isolated up towards the head and then we're going to cut up towards our finger definitely definitely spine from the head and to do that why I rinsed out the uh, the bloodline is you want to find uh, two vertebrae back from the head in between two vertebrae and cut down cut down and that frees up the spine like so 
And then we're going to cut this spine down to the skin without cutting through the skin on this side. side looks pretty good. Now once you get the uh, the, the rack on each side to the skin front and back both sides then you want to grab your your scissors you don't really need it until you get to a fin like you could pull up and away but once you get to the fin you need it and you want to cut that as close to the skin as possible clean with the exception what I missed. Now you could use this for stock. It'd make a great stock. In fact, I'm not going to toss it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this fish after, so and how much of it I'm going to keep. So we have uh, the rib bones removed from this side. We have the pin bones to deal with, but we have the uh, the rib bones and pin bones on this side. So, let's see what would be the easiest way to deal with this. We'll turn it around this way. And we'll kind of sort of do the same thing we did on the other side. So, the rib bones go out this way and the pin bones come up this way. And they do join towards the, uh, the head of the fish. So instead of trying to cut in this way, which wouldn't work, it wouldn't work out all that well. If you put the knife in with the the uh, the cutty bit in that orientation, and you feel you go down the fillet or the side, and you feel that the knife is on the one side of the the rib bones, and then you just simply come up you cut the connection between the pin bones and the rib bones up there they get much tougher and then once you get them separated turn the fly around or the, the fish around rather seen a lot of guys just trim this entire belly cavity off and I mean the meat in the belly cavity has a uh, higher fat content very little dark meat like it's it's a delicious part of the fish so cutting it off is kind of a waste and like I said before I harvested this fish I don't want to waste a whole lot so you can see I got real tight to the uh, to the rib bones. Perfect for stock as well. And then we got the, 
the pin bones. And if you run your finger along the fillet from the head towards the tail, you can feel that they, they kind of only go back to about halfway between the vent, halfway between the vent and the, the pelvic fin. So right about here, we're gonna go on the north side, the shoulder side, and cut down. To the skin without cutting through the skin. And then once we get that cut down to the skin, we're going to turn the knife. It is this way. We're going to turn it this way and pull forward that way a little bit towards the camera, towards you all that are watching. And then the next cut is just going to be down. Right, and then that whole that whole piece and some of the dark meat comes out. Same thing on the other side. It's a little more difficult on the other side because we have the it's a little more difficult on the other side because we have the head attached to it. So yeah, bear with me north side to the skin below it to the skin You wouldn't be able to do this with the uh, if you had scaled it. Okay, just wrestle through it. Can figure it out. I have confidence in you. This is easy enough for me to do. You could figure it out. That's it. All the pin bones on that side. So are we done? Thinking we're done. Yeah, that's definitely done. Now you could cut the belly lining out, it doesn't bother me. So the only bones that remain in this butterfly striped bass that I caught at Island Beach State Park, the most beautiful place in South Jersey, would be the fin bones that run down the center of the uh, the whole fish and the collarbones. They're a lot easier to get out when uh, the fish is cooked, but that's it. That is it. That is a, a, a striped bass or rockfish, if you're down south, that is all ready for stuffing. Boneless. For the most part, boneless. Yeah, that's about it. I, uh, I thank you all for watching. You'll have a wonderful day. Get the most out of each day, people. You never know when the last one's going to come. Hopefully I'm fishing tonight. I'll put a link to that movie at the end. Uh, a card. And, uh, yeah. Go, uh, go boink your lid. Cheers. <laughs>
special kind of event tonight has been. That's awesome. I'm glad I could share it with you. I'm thankful for this camera. Mikey, this is what you missed tonight, man. Uh...